We've had a lot of requests for do-it-yourself hand massage for people that possibly do a lot of manual work. They may type quite a lot, um, get sore hands through arthritis, various reasons. So today we're going to do a DIY hand massage that you can do yourself maybe when you're at home or when you're at work and you don't have to use oil or hand cream. You can possibly even use soap when you go to the bathroom. You can just wash your hands and use the lubrication of the soap to do the massage so the choice is yours. So all we've got is a little bit of fragrance free emollient and just to start rubbing it in between our hands and the effleurage that you do on yourself doesn't have to be up to your elbow, you can just stick to your wrist but the choice again is yours but we're just going to do some effleurage up to the elbow over the front and back of the hand and arm, swap over and just as when you work on someone else, this is warming up the skin and muscles, warming up the tissues and preparing your hands and arms for any future moves that you do. So just as when you're working on a client, you can use your thumbs and you can just work through the carpal bones or your wrist bones and you're just doing small circles and you might feel crunchiness might even feel a bit achy. The main thing is don't push too hard but be quite firm and if anything feels very uncomfortable then stop because you shouldn't be creating any pain. So you can just take your time and it's basically two lumps, two bumps that you'll see there and they are your main carpal bones. So you can work on one hand, swap over, work on the other and you can spend as much time as you like doing this, it's really how much time that you've got. So if you've only got two minutes then do this very quickly, but if you've got 10 or 15 then take your time. Now you can also use your thumb just to work through the metacarpals and it's the spaces in between. So where your fingers are, it's the spaces in between these bones. So you're just feeling for the gap and just using your thumb and you can either do tiny circles or you can do like we do in reflexology we call that the wiggle walk where we're just allowing your thumb just to gently move along and again the choice is yours again if you get tension in the thumb area and the thumb joint you can use the thumb from the other hand just to ease off any tension in that area and again you can feel the muscle here so it can be circles or it can be gentle also called a caterpillar walk just moving along and easing off any tension. Once you've covered this area you can take the thumb and just do circles over the fingers and if anyone gets pain in their joints here this can be quite beneficial. You can also, again, work in various different ways. You can also just hook in with your opposite finger. So it's the index and the middle finger and you're just very gently massaging each finger by manipulating along the edges. and that's just loosening off any tension and then you can also just pull along the fingers and you're just releasing any tightness that there might be just at the base sockets but don't pull too hard but again this is quite a warming move quite a loosening move and sometimes people like to push back on the fingers but it depends on your dexterity and if it's comfortable to do so so bit different with the thumb because it's a different style of socket so you're best not trying to manipulate the thumb because it doesn't naturally want to do that so by all means you can work along it but you don't want to manipulate it in the same way that you would do with the fingers. Once you've done one hand you can just repeat the same on the other. Another really good move for when you're doing DIY hand massage at home is just to have your hands in a prayer hold and very gently manipulate your wrists so backwards and forwards left and right and what you're doing is you're loosening off any tension in your wrists 
in the carpal area and it's really normal to feel crunching and to hear the crunching and cracking. You can do rotations and so long as there's no pain, the general consensus is that there's no problem. If you do feel crunching and cracking and it is accompanied by pain, then it's a good idea just to pop along and see your GP just to check that there's no underlying inflammation or any problems that might be there that could be dealt with. <laughs> Probably the most relaxing and beneficial part of an at-home DIY hand massage is when you get to the palm and this is where most people do carry their tension. If you're typing all day, if you're carrying heavy objects, if you're writing, then this is the area that really gets sore. Anyone that's done written exams where you're working for maybe three hours writing at a time will probably remember the cramp that you feel just in this area, the thinner emerus there. So you can spend a lot of time loosening off and massaging here. When you get a hand massage in a salon, this will normally take up a few minutes. But if you're doing this at home, you can spend as much time as you like. So it can be thumb circles, and you can actually take the circles directly under the socket joints of each finger. Just stretch them right out. It can also be the caterpillar walk, just working directly over the area. And if you do hand reflexology, you will do this caterpillar walk, but you'll do it through your set routine where you're working on different areas that correspond with parts of the body. But basically, spend as much time as you like to make sure that you've warmed up the area, released the tension and taken away any cramp or any pain that's there. And then once you've done the other hand, you can just finish off by doing your effleurage once more. So you might decide that your effleurage finishes at the wrist or you might decide that you're taking it up to the elbow. Once you're finished, if there's any residue of hand cream on, you might be happy just to leave it there to sink in or you might just want to dab it off with a towel or if you've been just doing your massage while you've been washing your hands in the bathroom it's just a simple case of drying off your hands and then remember that you can do this as often as you like at home, it's completely up to you.